Welcome to this IP Motion tutorial. This video will show you how to use a serial plugin to interface serial devices to the IP Motion data acquisition software. IP Motion is open to any third party data acquisition hardware. With the serial plugin, you can interface serial devices easily to build your data acquisition application. In order to read data from serial devices, you need to link device specific acquisition DLLs to the plugin. You can interface several devices at the same time to record the data. When you download the plugin from the IPtronic website, you will also receive a Visual Studio template to program your own device DLL. In this template, you specify which commands and parameters are exchanged between the device and the plugin. When the DLL is created, you link it to the plugin to enable the data communication. I'm starting now the IP Motion software. After program start, I access the application menu, access the options and enter into my plugin overview. Here I have a list of all my plugins and I will activate the video plugin and the serial plugin. If you've not installed the plugin so far, you just hit the download button which takes you straight to the IPtronic website to download the plugins from there. After plugin activation, I switch now to the Signals workspace. I select first the video plugin, add a video system, and activate the video channel of my webcam. We will use the webcam later to see the display readings of the power analyzer. Then I switch to the serial plugin and add a new serial device. I call this device Norma 3000. In the COM port tab sheet, I configure the serial interface parameters, which I take from the hardware manual of this device. In the settings tab sheet, I will link the Norma Power Analyzer Extension Acquisition DLL to my plugin to enable the data communication. In my test measurement, I have wired up an energy saving light bulb for voltage and current measurement. With this setup, I can check if the real energy consumption matches with the product labeling. In order to read the required parameters from the power analyzer, I need to set up four more data acquisition channels. The extension DLL is supporting 37 different functions. Every function has its specific identifier. The detailed list of all functions and identifiers is available in the plugin manual. For this measurement, I will select the following file RMS voltage with the identifier 1, RMS current with identifier 13, active. Power identifier 25, apparent power with identifier 28, and reactive power with identifier 31. Finally, I just need to hit the Start Display button to see the online measurements from the device. I am now switching to the view work area. Here I can set up some alphanumerical displays and a video display to show you the live data from the system. So I can drag and drop the video channel to the video display and the measurement channels to the alphanumerical display. And here we compare the results that the readings in IP Motion are exactly as the same as the readings on the device display. I can also start the data storage by hitting the store button and we are now saving the data from the measurement. We can already analyze the data during our recording process just by double clicking on our store group. Now I have a raw data overview of the recorded file and I can switch to the analysis work area. 
And here we can set up YT charts as well as a video display. And again, we can drag and drop the channels from the data file into the graph. And now we can see the measurements. In the data analysis part of IP Motion, we have several functions to move, stretch, zoom uh, into the graph. As well, we can play back. Uh, the readings uh, from the video display synchronously with the data recorded from the power analyzer. We can also apply per cursors and see cursor statistics. Also, we have the possibility to convert our data analysis directly into a report. IPMotion is a great software to work with. Download the full evaluation version now. Thank you very much for your attention.